from the gun. Empty backfield. And Fleming steps up, fires in the corner over there for Linworth Lennon. He makes the catch. That's a touchdown. Linworth Lennon makes the catch, puts six on the board for the Rattlers. Boy, didn't have. Hit and drop. Ooh. Looking to pass again. Round is about it. And now shoots across the middle. Touchdown, Fairview! Right on the money, and the Rattlers are back. Flushed out of the pocket. Rattlers have a spot. Can we make the tackle? We do. Fires toward the end zone. This one is picked up. That's around the first down. Move those chains. Touchdown, Fairview. Down to the five yard line. Move those chains. It's a first down for Florida AM. It's fired. It's picked, picked up. up. The Rattlers with 45 seconds left have shut the door. Hello and welcome to the Coach Joe Taylor Show. I'm Keith Miles, your host, along with the head Rambler, Coach Joe Taylor. And Coach, the Rambler's journey to the nation's capital in a trip that almost just, just didn't seem to want to work out for the Rambler's. <laughs> From the moment we tried to leave Tallahassee to the moment we got to Washington, it was just uh, one of those trips. Yeah. Well, this was our sixth ball game, and five of those games been on the road. And yesterday really didn't help anything. Um, you know, the delays here, delays there, getting it to the hotel. But still, I thought the guys came out and played uh, a very gallant uh, game in terms of effort, went down to uh, the very last play. Uh, and I told them, just keep working. Uh, you know, uh, this is not going to be a way of life. But, you know, we uh, played hard, uh, but we came up one play short. Yeah, 17-10, the final score, Coach. We knew coming in, Howard was one of the three teams sitting on top of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, along with us and Bethune-Cookman. And we knew that this was a much-improved Howard football program. Yeah, well, uh, Gary Hell, he's uh, doing a real fine job. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know he's uh, got some people up front. This was a senior-dominated team on both sides. And uh, just like Dell State uh, had about 14 guys that were seniors, uh, it was 18 on this particular team. And, uh, he's got a, uh, a good uh, scheme. Uh, and then, you know, like I just told the fellas, though, uh, we fought hard. Uh, in 2010, we was in the same situation with one loss. But, you know, this is not going to become a way of life. And uh, we're just going to get back to the drawing board and just keep fighting. All right, Coach, we're going to come back and take a look at first half highlights of FAMU and Howard after this time out on the Coach Joe Taylor Show. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Randall Booster Club. The Randall Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida A&M University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard in the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain, well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. The flavor station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. Welcome back to the Coach Joe Taylor Show. I'm Keith Miles and Coach. The Rattlers and Bison. Tiny Green Stadium, uh, a perfect fall afternoon. Actually, a, a front moved in and dropped the temperature as the game was yeah. going on. Yeah. But uh, the nation's capital, uh, just a historic setting for a great football game. Uh, two historically uh, powerhouses in terms of higher education for African Americans in this in this nation. Yeah, uh, no question about it. And you know, this is always a, it's going to be a robbery. Uh, and then the whole thing that I felt good about was that. 
uh, it wasn't a defensive struggle. It was just a heavyweight fight. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they made plays, we made plays. And when I uh, go back and look at the overall, uh, you know, game, uh, you know, I thought both special teams did a good job of, uh, of repositioning mm -hmm. uh, their teams. And, you know, we did uh, a pretty decent job uh, with our blocking up front, but it's evident that, uh, you know, we got four new starters up there, two of them are freshmen. And, uh, but again, it's good to get off the road and go home uh, in Bragg Stadium. All right, Coach, let's go to first half highlights. It's FAMU and Howard. In Green Stadium, the Rattlers won the toss and elected to receive. And here we go, Coach. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, James Owens uh, on the opening kickoff, and he sets us up in pretty decent field position. Uh, we saw that a number of times, Coach, uh, they were kind of diving on the player after the play, yeah. and a couple of times we didn't get any calls on, on that, but a couple of times we did. Well, the idea is uh, the, the guy has tremendous speed, and we need to stop dancing uh, and just stick our foot in the ground and just run. Uh, this is a good, uh, yeah. you know, a little bubble screen there, and of course he's very elusive. Uh, uh, Linwood, Linwood, yeah. and uh, you know, always uh, the first guy is going to miss. And here again, we uh, breaking down a little bit on the outside, but of course, like I said, you got a guy that's athletic. He's elusive, and uh, you know, he's just going to find some time. And they really had a lot of pressure on us on the outside, which is fine. So he was able to step up in the pocket mm -hmm. and find. But I don't know. We need to look to see how many times he was uh, actually sacked today. Mm -hmm. But that's a turnover there, uh, and like I say, we got to find a way to, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't talk about officiating, but uh, we see holding, 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 but uh, some kind of way is only holding when we're doing it, but you know, we'll, we'll just keep fighting. Yeah, Keith Pugh uh, made a big play there for Howard, number 13. He uh, He's an All-American coach, uh, one of the better defensive players in the conference and he had a big game today. Well coming into the year he was our preseason defensive player of the year for the MEAC mm -hmm. and you see why uh, the guy just really has uh, a nose for the football he's got good leverage and he's uh, you know his speed is good. Yeah there we had a great play by Linworth and got the uh, uh, face masking call to go on top of that added mm -hmm. 15 more yards and the Rattlers are on the move here. Uh, Damian again just having a big night. This is a good run coach uh, by Eddie Rocker and uh, running our ground game has been sort of troubled here the last couple of weeks but we did get some plays going here today and this is Eddie with a good run after catch. Yeah in fact we under, uh, we were pushing the coverage deep because those linebackers really mm -hmm. drop out of there so we're hitting a lot of stuff underneath so a good plan but again um, you know we run we get nine ten yards but then like I say you come back get a penalty now you're behind the sticks now you got to start calling our uh, pass plays but this was a great uh, drive for us and yeah. uh, I think this is going to lead to our first score yeah uh, as we move down the field there. yeah big receptions by Travis and then uh, James Owen sets us up and uh, come this is a great catch coach he didn't have much uh, real estate yeah. to work in over there but Linworth made the catch got one foot down and made the score well we knew that they would be in man coverage so we ran a two -hour outside receivers in and we just ran a little six route which is the corner route to our third receiver in and a uh, great throw. Yeah, seven nothing the Rattlers take the early lead and uh, here comes Howard right back. Uh, we had good uh, special teams kick coverage to coach most of the day. Yeah, we've gotten better there. First of all, uh, Chase is doing a great job of pinning the return guy and uh, you know we're selling in on our personnel for that and we've been getting better and better. Yeah, Greg McGee got the start for Howard at quarterback coach. This was uh, uh, he hadn't started the last couple of games, but he started yeah. today, and Terrence LaFall was back also yeah. at the running back position. They certainly made a difference <laughs> in the Howard offense. Well, last week on the phone there, he was hedging the ball. He was going to let Griffin start and uh, the other running back who was a freshman. But I told anybody who were better that we knew who would start. And uh, it was obvious that McGee was going to be the guy. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, came in and, you know, he ignited his team. and. Uh, you know, they were able to come ahead. All right, Howard gets the field goal. It makes it 7-3 to three now. And here we go. This is uh, James Owens and the, trying to get something going. But that's some pretty good kick coverage there by Howard. Ball pops out, but the Rattlers retain possession. Well, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then here we go. Howard now on offense. And that's good defense, right? Ellie Hippolyte, coach, uh, certainly had a big afternoon yeah, yeah. also. Well, we talked about him and Brandon Davis in our pre-game uh, meeting because, uh, you know, those are two new starters for us this year. But 
throughout the month of uh, September, I thought I saw them get better and better. Yeah, here's uh, Damian, and he did it several times. Coach play break would break down. He would take off and run and pick up the first down for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, though, we just got to figure out a way to get him a little bit more help because I think he's getting too much pressure. But if it's on the outside, it's good because now he just steps up. But sometimes when he goes left and right, mm -hmm. uh, he's going to run right into that uh, that outside pressure. I said he rocked with the big play. This play. But here we just told him catch the football. It's a first down. Yeah. Just catch it. You know you're going to get hit. Just catch the football. Yeah, here we go. This is Howard back on offense, LaFall. And here he runs right into a mass of white jerseys, Coach. Yeah, defensively, we've seen us just get better the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, it's um, and that's what you need to see. And, you know, uh, Coach Holmes is doing a real fine job. And, you know, uh, help burn out. You know, he's getting everybody in the right place. Denmark is coming along, playing a lot better. Mm -hmm. But the key is where we start up. Now, this is strictly on Moss. I'm sorry, Ross. Uh, he's a, he's a, probably in the deep third. But they play action, froze him, and now he's not in the deep third. But that's his guy all day long. Uh, and uh, so Howard takes the 10-7 lead at the half. A, a hard-fought first half, Coach. And again, we knew that this was going to be a dogfight. We knew that we weren't going to come up here and just blow Howard mm -hmm. out because oh, no. they're a much no. better team than uh, they have been in the past. This is yeah. this is a Howard team uh, under Gary Harrell that certainly has a bright yeah. future. Yeah. And things are going their way. I mean, you know, like you say, this is their... Uh, third home game, um, you know, they've had an opportunity to rest their kids and, you know, get some kids back that hadn't been playing. But, you know, again, uh, great ball game just came up uh, one play short. All right, we're going to come back and take a look at second half highlights of FAMU and Howard after this timeout on the Coach Joe Taylor Show. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Welcome back to the Coach Joe Taylor Show. Coach, the Rattlers going to kick off to Howard to start the second half. Howard with a 10-7 lead, but the Rattler defense is going to step right up uh, and make their presence known early in the second half uh, and uh, really uh, show Howard that, hey, this is going to be a battle all the yeah, way. Yeah, and that's what you want to see uh, on that opening kickoff. Um, we elected to uh, kick to the win so that we could have the win to our back in the fourth quarter. Uh, but, you know, to come out and get a stop, uh, that's really what you want to see. And we just told them at the halftime, you know, we knew this was going to be a heavyweight fight, uh, that, you know, this is, uh, you know, some rival territory, but that, you know, we just need to just pick up the intensity. I told the defense they had slipped in there and got one in the seam on us just for the half, but uh, that's not going to be enough, you know. And we went out and uh, they were able to come up with a stop. But, you know, here again, penalties. Uh, just kept setting the offense back and just kept us in a hole. Yeah, uh, two great young sophomore quarterbacks, Greg McGee, like our Damien, a sophomore quarterback with a lot of talent. Yes, yes. Uh, well, he hadn't played too much because of some infractions, but um, certainly uh, he's a lot more comfortable with the offense mm -hmm. uh, than he was last uh, year. And again, he was a preseason pick also for uh, Offensive Player of the Year. And, you know, he has a season line in front of him. 
and uh, two uh, outstanding uh, running backs that are also seniors. So with that combination, uh, he's just really has a great cast of characters around him, and uh, he's just making sure that you know he doesn't mess it up. All right, let's go to second half highlights. It's FAMU and Howard. The Rattlers kicking off to the Bison, and here we go. You're going to see this Rattler defense come up and make some big plays. Early on here in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. This is uh, McGee. We just talked about him, uh, a talent. And boy, look here. That uh, that should have been an interception. Yeah, there, anytime that ball's in the air like that, uh, we need to be able to just seize it. And uh, but again, was able to stop the drive and uh, force them to uh, come off the field. And you know, we got a guy here, uh, Lenwood Lennon. You know, like I said, that first guy is not going to miss, but. Here's now, that's, I'm not too keen on that. That's just a flagrant foul there. Mm -hmm. Now, we did get 15 out of it. But, uh, you know, that's not the way you want to do it. And, you know, we know that we're going to keep the ball in our horse's hand there. And um, a couple of times, you know, we threw the screen. But uh, the other screen, they just made a great play on it. Uh, I thought that would have been a touchdown. But was able to at least come out and tie the ball game. Yep, Chase comes in, kicks the field goal. We're tied at 10-10. And here we go, Damian on offense and dancing around and fires downfield. And this pass here uh, was broken up by uh, Keith Pugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, you got to still come and uh, come back to the football. But, uh, you know, he was a, I don't know, they was trying some kind of fake or something, but uh, wasn't ready for the snap. But again, good defensive yeah. play. You know, we're around the football, we're flying around. Yeah, Bobby Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great one-on-one -on -one play there. Now this, of course, is uh, certainly uh, you know, it's an illegal hit. You have to give yeah. a guy uh, at least two feet uh, to catch the football. And, of course, uh, you know, the other coach, of course, was complaining that he thought it was simultaneous. But that was the right call, and uh, but we come out. But stop making penalties, all sides, and illegal motion, and uh, just, again, that's getting in our own way. Yeah, Jonathan Pillow here with a big interception. Yeah. You know, they get the football. We come right back and take it right back from them. Yeah. And so, again, the defense uh, stepping up, playing, making some big plays. Yeah, no question about it. But, you know, two great plays by them. You know, both one guy, screen play, and we just get one guy and we play. But this was a real blunder here. We're standing around looking. and uh, But that was a block in the back there. Mm -hmm. But, of course, you know, they don't see that. But... Um, they were able to get that punt return and put them in great field position. And even on the last play, though, I thought uh, when they gave him a touchdown, I thought it was a good goal line stand there. But if you're in Tennessee, you wouldn't have gotten that. But uh, <laughs> we in D.C., you know. <laughs> All right. So Howard now takes a 17-10 uh, to 10 lead. And here we go, the Rattlers. Uh, James Owens, Coach, this was a great return. If he just keep going north-south, you know, he just uh, have a high propensity to want to dance and go east and west. He needs to put that foot down, use that speed, and just, uh, yeah. Now, now, this was a fumble. The Rattlers covered. <laughs> we got a flag and a face mask call, which kept the drive alive for, mm. for uh, Howard. Yeah. And uh, here we That's go. A, I mean, I don't know. Uh, we recovered the ball. Now they're going to give him a first down. You know, yeah. I, you know, I just told the guys, just keep fighting. Yeah, and here we go. Uh, Travis makes a big play. This is our march down mm -hmm. toward the end of the football game here. This is the first play in the end zone for Michael mm -hmm. Etheridge, which I thought that play would be open, Coach. Right there. And uh, once again, we go back to Etheridge, but yeah. it uh, comes up incomplete, and that's the way it ends. 17-10, <laughs> to 10, uh, Howard defeats the Rattlers yeah. in a hard fall. We, we yeah. thought this was, uh, this was a, a, what, a major Mideastern Athletic Conference matchup test uh, in yeah. the middle of the season. Yeah, it was, and, uh, you know, a galleon fight again. Uh, right to the end, uh, but again, come up one place short. Mm -hmm. But again, in 2010, uh, we had one loss in conference and was able to go down the stretch. Uh, but you know, uh, it's a disappointment, of course, because um, you know you, you're playing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just told them to keep fighting because this will not become a way of life. All right, coach, we're going to go to break, and as we go, we'll take a look at final statistics, and we'll come back with the players of the game after this timeout on the Coach Joe Taylor Show. Stay with us. You've been involved in an accident, you feel like today is going to be a bad day, you have headaches, neck pain, back pain, well call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where we have your neck 
and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Randall Booster Club. The Randall Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida A&M University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late. Point five, the flavor station always represent that real hip hop and R&B. Sean D is in the building to that seven o'clock hour. Welcome back to the Coach Joe Taylor Show. Let's take a look at this week's players of the game. On offense coach is Damian Fleming, 26 of 41, 228 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Damian continues to be the leader of our offense. Yeah. And he was, uh, from a physical standpoint, uh, he was a little gimpy last week with uh, growing, but uh, he was we didn't do a lot of hitting, in fact, any hitting at all all week and uh, allowed him to heal. But, you know, continues to make plays. Uh, he moves around in the pocket. He loses pressure. Uh, no question, he's just getting better and better. Yeah, defensively, it's Brandon Hepburn. Coach, 10 total tackles, 7 solo, 3 assists. He's the leader of the defense, and he was certainly in charge uh, yeah. on, on display here in Washington. Yeah, they talk a lot about Keith Pugh, and that's well-deserving, but certainly uh, Brandon will play on Sundays as well. He's the guy that gets the defense in the right places over there and uh, continuously making great plays. He's getting better and better uh, as the year goes on, so he deserves to be our MVP. Our special teams player of the game coach is Linworth Lennon uh, for an all-purpose yards. He ended up with 20, 69 all-purpose yards, 26 on receiving, 43 on a punt return. A great punt return that helps set up a score. Uh, he has a lot of talent, coach, and I, I'm not sure he even realizes just how much ta how talented he is. As, uh, he can still make some even bigger plays, I think, you're expecting from him. Well, uh, we got some plans uh, to really just put the ball in his hand even more. Uh, he does a great job on receiving, whether it's downfield or on those little bubble screens. Uh, we decided to go with him as our number one punt returner because he is so elusive. He's really competitive, and he's a sure-handed guy. Uh, so, again, uh, he deserves that, and you're going to see us putting the ball in his hands more. All right, Coach, as we go to break, we'll take a look at some other Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference scores from the weekend and the MEAC standing, and we'll be back with some final thoughts about next week's game after this timeout on the Coach Joe Taylor Show.
Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. Introducing a mobile application that can open up an entire new world for the orange and green faithful with the ability to check out the latest in-campus news, events, athletic scores, and much, much more. Specifically designed for the FAMI. Whether it's linking to your class courses from your mobile device, looking through maps to find specific buildings on campus, or just having some fun looking through uploaded videos and photos, a great addition to your mobile FAMU student lifestyle. Get your FAMU app today! The flavor station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. Welcome back to the Coach Joe Taylor Show. Coach, up next, the Rattlers return to mm -hmm. the friendly confines of Bragg Memorial Stadium for only the second time this season. I mean, we've been wearing white. We're turning into the milkmen around here. <laughs> well, finally, wow. we get to wear green and the home jerseys and be back home in Bragg Stadium. Well, like I said, the first six games, five on the road, uh, that's murder's road. And uh, that's why, you know, again, you're so proud of these guys because no complaints. They just keep fighting. And, but you, like you say, it's good to return home, sleep in your own bed, mm -hmm. uh, and let our bodies, uh, you know, get refreshed a little bit. And it's still a conference ball game, but uh, it's good to be back uh, at Bragg Stadium. Savannah State is our next opponent, and it's a program that's struggling, Coach, but uh, they've had some big paydays. They're going to get it much better. Uh, Howard just played them a week ago. This mm -hmm. might be a great opportunity for us to get our program back on track and back in the thick of the conference race. Well, like I said, we, it's still a lot of football left. Uh, there's only still one loss in conference, and, you know, it's a lot of the other teams have to play each other. Mm -hmm. So, you know, certainly it's not over, but we're looking to be back or get back at home uh, and play in front of, uh, you know, the home uh, crowd. Uh, <laughs> for a change. Yeah, most importantly, mm -hmm. that home crowd, we want to emphasize we need all Rantler faithful to turn out in big numbers for our next home game against Savannah State, and we want to see you in the place, and of course, we're going to have all of the highlights for you right here next week on the Coach Joe Taylor Show. We'll see you then. Pulls it now, shoots across the middle, touchdown, down, fam, you! Right on the money, and the Rattlers are back! Flushed out of the pocket, Rattlers out of the spot, can we make the tackle? We do! Fires from the end zone, this one is picked off. That's around the first down, move those chains! Touchdown, fam, you! Down to the five-yard line, move those chains! It's a first down for Florida and m it's picked up! The Raptors with 45 seconds left have shut